For fast, cheap, and reliable Madden 22 coins, make sure to go to instantmaddencoins.com. Use code MMG for 10% off. I'm not even in a must-win scenario right now. I am in a must-win two straight games and then three straight after that to make it to the Super Bowl scenario. This season has been tumultuous. It's been up and down. We started off weak. We ended up a game being three to three when the guy quit and then lost a very close game and went on to win four straight very close games. And now I just got shell-shocked. I got railroaded by this dude in the last game. Oh, it was tough. Tough to sit through, but oh, oh, oh. I know you guys are all bitching about it last wheel of month because I forgot to upgrade Debo, but it doesn't matter because I've yet to play a game with the Debo since I forgot to upgrade it. Our only touchdown last episode was with this Debo Samuel. So I'm going to get my upgrade on the Debo Samuel right now. The next upgrade takes him to an 89. So he's an 86 now. He's starting to get abilities. I could give him red zone threat. You know, that actually might actually be really smart. It'd be so much easier to throw it to him in there. It should increase his catching. I think we're onto something, boys. Let's throw red zone threat on this Debo Samuel and let's activate it. That should make these uh, touchdowns a little bit easier, but we've got two games left until the play. Playoffs, and if I lose any of these upcoming two games, we're in a whole lot of trouble. So sadly, the team of the year players we picked up last episode they have to go. We're doing what we can out here. It's a tough game last game. Me and this guy have been chatting. The guy I played last game. He said, "Want to send me Darren Waller?" I said, "You deserve him." Chris, yeah, he clapped my cheeks. He said, "I'm not that good." And said, "Want to trade Darren Waller?" Oh, yeah, I don't know what happened here. Uh, question mark. I said, "I'll trade you a blade of grass." He said, "Bet." I said, "So then you can finally see what it looks like." He said, laughing, and he said, "I'm not that good." I said pee pee wiener and he said reported okay well i think i won that exchange i didn't win the game but i won the exchange uh debo samuel's now an 86 and uh we're back to where we were i think what i should do this episode is i should get a god tier halfback i upgraded a ton of defense last episode and it didn't change shit i got fucking shelled anyway it didn't matter i had three huge defensive upgrades i got shelled i might just bail on it and go for a god tier halfback here if i have the option the dream is still alive it's just sketchy that's the best way i can describe it we can still make the super bowl in time for the real Super Bowl. It's just sketchy. Halfback. 95 plus halfback. How's it gonna happen? I don't know. I don't ask those questions. I just spin the fuck wheel, baby. It's a Christmas. That's what I needed. Any Christmas player. There's so many good Christmas halfbacks. <gasps> but I could get Micah Parsons. Oh, but I could get Micah Parsons. That Micah Parsons is so fun. He's a left outside linebacker, so he'd go where Vilma is right now, right? Oh, but there's there's an Adrian Peterson halfback. Fuck. Does he get backfield master? If he gets backfield master, I might just get him. Fuck, he gets backfield master. I'm so sorry, boys. I have to do it. I have a game plan. I had a game plan, okay? My game plan was get a god tier halfback. I was just gifted an opportunity to get it. I have to do it. I can't fucking switch up. I just said it last game. It didn't matter that I upgraded defense. I got fucking shelled like a little bitch. All right, let's gas him up to max. 96 overall halfback. I can give him back. Backfield mastery. It's gonna be so good, dude. Etienne, you have served us so well, dude. I'm really proud of you. For an 89 overall, you played your ass off, but uh, I'm really happy what you did. Thank you for your service, my son. Adrian Peterson. Welcome to my fucking squad, dude. Now that's fucking crazy. Look at how many teams he's played for, dude. Hint, hint. I might have made a scoring with Adrian Peterson in every Madden video, so I might have scored with him on all of these teams. Stay on the lookout, but for now, it's Wheel of Mud time. So, backfield master, cracked fucking ability. I can throw those insane routes on him. That's gonna help our team a lot, I think, offensively. I think the move here is jukebox. Backfield master, jukebox. He will be just just a monster, dude. He's gonna do everything for this team. He is now three AP though, so I'm gonna have to move the AP off of somebody. Gotta keep a skate artist on Tebow. It works so well. Gotta keep what I got on Darren Waller. I might have to take my O-line abilities off. I'm happy with our decision. It was a difficult decision to make, but I'm happy. Right here, what I would love is a middle linebacker. Middle linebacker is the only thing I want right now. Oh my God. Three elite players can turn into 194, 95, but we have to sacrifice them to the gods. Discard players that I forget about. So Leonard Davis is a backup. We can discard him. Ezekiel Elliott, we just pulled out. He was our backup halfback, so that's two. Did I have another backup wide receiver? Jerry Rice, the 85 Jerry Rice. So 85 Jerry Rice, 82 Zeke, and Leonard Davis. So all those guys are removed from the lineup. I literally don't think we ever would have used any of them. That's big, 194, 95, anybody I want. Let's get an amazing middle line. What is Micah Parsons? What is Micah Parsons? What overall is Micah Parsons? I could fucking do it, can't I? Ah, you bitch! He's 96! Oh, oh, I knew that from before. I got a 95 Christmas jackpot before. <gasps> Micah Parsons continues to elude me. Keekly, Jayon Brown might actually be pretty good. AJ Hawk would be funny. Just because I always see him on the McAfee show. Bobby Wagner has one? What are the 93 middle linebackers? I've gotten fucked up by a Ray Lewis before. What's Ray Lewis's overall? Where are his attributes? 
That is a monster. I'm getting Ray Lewis. Oh my God, we just added two legends. You know, I never do that, but I think with these legends, I think it makes sense. Because sometimes, you know, you see a legend player that EA put in and it's some guy who played in the 60s and it's like, okay, dude, you were literally playing against plumbers and mailman just like Michael Jordan. So I don't even think you're probably good. Pretty sure I could beat Michael Jordan in basketball, the fucking competition he was playing. But Adrian Peterson and Ray Lewis, they're fucking iconic. Everybody who knows football knows these two for the most part, whether that's for good reasons or bad. Yeah, I actually just got two controversial players too. That's kind of funny. I understand that some of those 95s like might have had better stats. I'm not putting fucking Jonathan Vilma, 95 overall middle linebacker on my team on purpose. Ray Lewis, Devin White in the middle, Shaq Thompson. Vilma's the liability here. And this side of the line is a liability as well as our D tackle now. But uh, secondary, I'm hoping secondary can play better than last game. God, we got fucking torched. Cover three beaters, straight YouTube plays torched. I need some confidence. I need some Urban Meyer juice. Urban, bless me with the win here. All right, the challenge wheel will not salvage a player for us here because we will get reset if we lose. So this is more about completing it for the pack. More than anything, we need to... <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I've ever completed this one. 25 plus passing yards of my kicker. This is one that I'm only doing if I'm winning this game. No way I'm subbing my kicker. His name is Bro Guard Me. Oh no, please no. Please no, please no, please no. Please no. Come on! We need this so bad, boys. Bro Guard Me. Am I gonna be haunted by really good Seahawks players? Josh Allen, Patterson. He's gonna start out with a run. It is going absolutely nowhere. Uh, right side, left side. He could probably throw left, but wait, that's sketchy. All right, this could be a run. It's not. Oh, throw under, throw under, throw under. Throw under. All right, this is probably not what I should be doing here, but I'm blitzing. Oh. Simmons just got fucking held up. Are you serious? How did I not block shot that? I can't believe Isaiah Simmons got held like that. He's passing. Fabian. Oh, good pass. Basically covering everything. If he runs, he will destroy me here. Okay, we're good. Nothing. Not a goddamn thing open. No, sir. No, sir! Oh, pick it! Come on, he's got to throw crossbody on a horrible pass. You gotta pick that. A run play, I doubt. Doubt, yes. Right here, right here, no. right here! He threw across the line of scrimmage. I didn't get the INT though. They nerfed users or something. It's, it feels like the last three, four games, dude. I just can't get the INT. Third and 14, we know it's a pass. All right, play action. He's gonna sit here. Mine, 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 mine! Isaiah Simmons! Come on, baby, entourage me! We've got a chance to get Debo Samuel some touchdowns here. Let's play smart though. Let's just go inside zone. Hold those blocks up, boys. Yeah. Let's send uh, let's send that angle route. Okay, little check down. Little check down to who? AJ Brown. <laughs> keep, forget keep forgetting. Ray Lewis is in. I repeat, Ray Lewis with Stonewall Enforcer. Why don't we get him a pass, yeah? Let's get him one. Oh no, so he's not gonna step up. Oh, Ray Lewis block. You know what's nice about having Ray Lewis out there? I bet you he's a pretty fucking good blocking tight end. No, you're not. Wait a second, this is what I wanted. Yes! Yes! This is what I needed in this episode! Yes! Fuck yes! Oh! This is perfect! Okay! This puts me back on track. This perfectly puts me- Oh, I have to win this next game. I have to win this next game, but this puts me right back on track. We're locked in. We have a rage quit wheel spin. We have one more wheel spin after that. And then we go hop into another game. Yes, dude. Oh, we knew that so bad. All right, boys. I'll let you see the rage quit wheel here first. What do we got, baby? Yes! Fuck yes! It's exactly what I needed! Oh, was that a jackpot we just missed? Power up variant. We can put power up on one of our players. Not the greatest rage quit wheel spin in the world, but it'll be nice depending on who we use it on. Tebow is probably the move, right? Does Tebow have a... Yeah, let's use it on Tebow. Assuming Tebow has a power up, I feel like if you give him a 96, he probably has a power up. He does have a power up. It is, I will say, it's kind of bizarre how quickly he rage quit. Especially with his team, dude. His Debo was powered up to a 99. So now if I win here, we head to the playoffs. All right, so Debo's now 97. I wonder if that gives him any new abilities. He does get Gunslinger, and I know people say it's so important, but for seven AP, are you kidding? Scrambler QBs kind of get shafted. All right, Tebow now at 97. All right, boys, we get one spin on the wheel here. Focus kicker would be nice. Backup tight end. Uh, I can't... I can't really say what else I would want here. I don't even know what that is. Team Will 99-1 if L- Oh, this one is sick. Okay, so what it says is Team Week 90-91 if L, 90-96 if W. What I do is I spin the Team Wheel. If that team's most recent game in the actual NFL is a loss, I can take a 90-91 player. But if they won their most recent game, I can take a 90-96. So whatever team this lands on, they need to have won their last game to get a 90-96. But if they lost, it's a 991. Bucks, no, no, no! 
Oh my god, this is the only time getting the Buccaneers could have been bad for the fucking challenge. And it's my, it's the Rams. It's Matthew Stafford. <sighs> Matthew Stafford just clapped me. And you know why that actually really sucks? The Buccaneers have a focus kicker. Now there's a lot of options here, if I'm gonna be honest. A lot of options. But I think Warren Sapp is probably the move. Because I have no D-tackle right now. And there is a 91 Warren Sapp. So it wasn't the worst in the world. You know, the team I got could have had literally nobody useful for me. So just the fact that they do have a 91 does make me happy. 91 Warren Sapp, Series Redux. Be better than Armstead. We're six and three. We're that team in the real NFL that should not be making the playoffs. We're basically the Steelers, you know? We need a bunch of bullshit to happen to make the playoffs, but this is our game to make the playoffs right here. So we got to stick this out and get a dub. One win to a playoff berth, one loss to elimination. We got Hank. What do you got, Hank? Youngblood, Newton, Lem. Okay, I was really excited when I saw Newton, but now I'm less excited when I saw the Lem Barney. I was talking to one of the pro players on Twitter, and he was telling me about this Lem Barney just being stupid fucking good. I'm setting fucking blitz. I'm getting weird with it. Cam! Oh, I don't finish fucking ankles. A little ankle biting. Little two year old. Quack. Bop! No, good move by Megatron. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I get for playing aggressive right there. I deserve that shit. So aggressive. I tried to big hit him too after when I could have just taken a conservative tackle. Really, I'm only looking for Debo Samuel touchdowns on this game. I'm not going to try and do anything else. We got room. We got room. Oh. We're going to go get AP in space. Throw was there if I wanted it, but look at B. Oh, oh no. What the fuck? That was so open. And Debo just got flattened. Am I gonna go out sad like this? Am I really gonna go out sad? I don't think so. I think this is just a roadblock in the way of our inevitable victory. They're attempting to slow us down, which I respect. Great sack, Shaq Thompson. Second and 25, I'm gonna follow left side crosser, probably. That's fine. That's fine! Since I'm passing like an idiot, let's establish the ground game. And he, he passed commit! He passed commit! Peterson! A, B, stop on a fucking dime! Let's go! 56 yards against this former team! All right, Debo Samuel, you little bitch. Let's get you in the end zone, buddy. I want to know how my center and my guard are standing there with their dicks in their asses while some guy screams on my quarterback. That's what I want to know. We're built different. We're going to get back in. We're going to score. All right. What? How can you not make that pass? I have one idea. It's very particular, but it's the only idea I have right now. Which is a, uh, one of these. Ugh. Should just be taking my yards. I'm still gonna win this game. I don't care. I'm winning. Throw it. Throw it. You know exactly where you're fucking throwing. I'm going out of bounds to the one, and Debo Samuel is getting a touchdown. I think Debo will, will get around this if it's man. If it's not, I will run it in with Debo. The win is more important than the Debo yards. Oh, bingo. Look at the rub, dude. That's like an illegal screenplay. The slants that I sent bumped his defender. God, this game looks so sorry for me at the start. I'm gonna do the same thing. He's running the same defense. Oh, wait, no, there's two men blitzing off. Oh, I should have thrown it. Holy shit, it really was that open. X, maybe? No, good play by him. He sat there and waited. Oh, Tebow, you gotta catch that. Palomalu. I'm not winning this game by a point. I'm winning this game by multiple touchdowns. I'm sending the hot boys. Oh, somebody get there. Vilma? Tight end attack? Probably tight end attack. It is. It is. Throw it. Normally, I'd say I wouldn't, but I do have Lurker on uh, Ray Lewis, so I think it was definitely in the ballpark for an INT right there. Same play. He's going to do the same thing. All right. Uh, this side, this side, this side, this side, this side, this side. Let's go! I didn't even see who was going to get the sack. Vilma's got it. No, no, I want more demo touchdowns. Don't you go! Okay, whatever. We made it. I went from playing the toughest game I could play to two horrible players. You know, if that doesn't tell you that EA does some like straight up dynamic difficulty adjustment, I don't know what is. Dub is a dub and that's another rage hoot wheel. Let's hope that our rage hoot wheel spin is a little better. That last one was kind of poverty. All right, boys, we got a rage hoot wheel. Let's hope it's not as poverty as the last one. There's some good shit on here and I could really use it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, what does that say? What does that say? Have I ever gotten this? I don't think I've ever gotten this. All right, we can spend this many coins on one player. This many coins, it's 
<gasps> could have been 50K, could have been 30K. We do get 90K, that's actually really good. I think I'm gonna go for a left end. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go left outside linebacker, actually. I was just looking in the pool of left ends. They're not that much better than Kerrigan, but I do think we can make relatively significant upgrade at left outside linebacker. Can I get the, can I get Josh Allen? He's dirt fucking cheap, 93 Josh Allen, left outside linebacker, 90 speed, 91 excel. Black shot ain't that great, but that, that is a beast. Left outside linebacker. And now I finally feel good, oh my God. Headed into the playoffs. Look at the linebackers, dude. Josh Allen, Ray Lewis, Devin White, Shat Thompson. Secondary is sexy minus Divine Diablo. Would love to upgrade him if I get the opportunity. Chase Young, Warren Sapp, Armstead, Kerrigan. Um, yeah, let's get Di Diablo out of there before the start of the next one. Hopefully Ryan Kerrigan too. And backup tight end, still a little sketch ball. Because everybody scum kicks and they always scum kick to him. And I hate that. I don't like him having the ball. And Debo gets one more upgrade. Dude, I do okay. You can't blame this on me with Debo though. I have been trying with Debo, but I got two straight rage quits there where I hardly had a chance. So one, two, three, four. We'd have to really rifle it into Debo in these playoff games, but there's a chance that we could have the Super Debo for the Super Bowl, and uh, that would be very, very nice. Now we are good to go, boys. I love you as always. Clap cheeks, and if there's anything I can do to make your guys' day better, if there's anything more that I can do, please let me know because I got you. All right, love you, boys. Take care as always. Peace.